Hello students, how are you? Today's topic is polynomial. So we have a set of questions here. The first question is show that you can write it down. Show that x equal to 1 is the 0 of the polynomial. The 0 of the polynomial 3x cube minus 4x square plus 8x minus 7 all right this is the question what do we have to do we have to first check that whether x is, is equal to 1 it is 0 of the polynomial or not for this we have to use the factor theorem what does factor theorem says first to solve this question, we have a polynomial p of x is 3x cubed minus 4x square plus 8x minus 7. If you want to check whether x equal to 1 is the 0 of the polynomial or not, we just have to put the value of x here 1. If you place the value of x 1 and if you get p of 1 equal to 0 that that means how let's solve it 3 1 square sorry 1 q minus 4 at the place of x 1 square plus 8 again at the place of x 1 minus 7 solve it so when you solve this 3 minus 4 plus 8 minus 7 when you solve these 3 minus 4 minus 1 and 8 minus 7 it was plus 1 definitely we are getting here 0 so by factor theorem it says that that if we get if we get answer 0 by putting the value of x we can say that here since I put the value x as 1 and I got the answer of p of 1 0 so by factor theorem I can say that this x is equal to 1 is the 0 of the polynomial. So, what can we write here? We can write, write by factor theorem since p of 1 is equal to 0. So, by factor theorem, we can say, we can say that x equal to 1 is the 0 of the polynomial. Second question I have that find the zeros of the polynomial. Find the zeros of the polynomial and the polynomial is x square minus 4x plus 3 all right so here we have to solve this question by using factor theorem so here we have a polynomial p of x equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 for this we can use a hidden trial method in which we we see here that the coefficient of x square is 1 and the constant term is, is 3 so 3 into 1 we have a factor we can uh, choose here plus minus 1 plus minus 3 the, this is actually the factor of the constant term we have 3 so by using hit and trial method we can use what either we can use take p of 1 or p of minus 1 p of 3 and p of minus 3 let's take it p of minus 3 okay if you take p of 1 what will you get here 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus 3 1 square is 1 minus 4 into 1 is 4 plus 3 1 minus 3 here we are getting actually minus 3 plus 3 answer 0 so one of the factor here we have p of 1 
equal to 0. Let us solve this minus 1. So, minus 1 square minus 4 into minus 1 plus 3. When we solve this, we will not get what? We will not get what? 1, this will be 4 plus 4 plus 3. So, we are not getting here in this case 0. Okay. So, in this case P of 3, let us solve this 3 square minus 4 into 3 plus 3. What do we get? This 3 square is 9. 9 minus 12 plus 3. So, here we are getting answer 0. 9 minus 12 is, is uh, minus 3 and plus 3 answer is. So, we have two cases. So, let us erase this. In these two cases, we are getting what? At x equal to 1 and x equal to 3, we are getting p of 1 as 0 and p of 3 as 0. So, what we can say the two zeros are of the given polynomial is 1 and 3. It is the way what do we call the hit and trial method. There is another way to solve this question. So, so here we can say that by factor theorem, by factor theorem x equal to 1 and 3 x equal to 1 and 3 are the zeros of the polynomial are the zeros of the polynomial as p of 1 we have to mention that as p of 1 is 0 and P of 3 is 0. So, we have to write it properly. Then we will get the answer. Now, we have another question that if 3 x minus 4 is a factor of the polynomial P of x equal to 2 x cube minus 11 x square plus K of x minus 20 then find x. Okay. So, here we have 3 x minus 4 is a factor. Since 3 x minus 4 is the factor of the polynomial so, we, we can find the first the 0 of the polynomial because the uh, according to factor theorem, it says that if 3x minus 4, first find the 0 of 3x minus 4. So, it will be, so solve it separately here, put 3x minus 4 equal to 0, 3x equal to uh, minus 4 will be, will be transposed, it will become 4 x equal to 4 by 3. So, we can say that 0 of 3 x minus 4 is 4 by 3. What, what does it mean? If we take the value of x 4 by 3 here, the whole expression will become 0. What does what the meaning of 0? 0 of this expression means that if we take value of x 4 by 3, then when we put this, uh, this value through 4 by 3 here, the whole expression will become 0. So, 0 of this polynomial, this, this factor is 4 by 3. Now, since this, this is a linear polynomial actually, is the factor of this given cubic polynomial. So, by factor theorem, so by factor theorem, we can say that P of 4 by 3 is equal to 0. Since 3x minus 4 is a factor of the polynomial, given polynomial, so by factor theorem we can say that what? P of 4 by 3 will become 0. We always get remainder 0 actually. This is shows the remainder. We always get remainder 0 here. It means that it is a factor. So here we have P of 4 by 3. So put the P, uh, put the value of x 4 by 3 in the given cubic polynomial to 4 by 3 holds cube minus 11 4 by 3 square whole square plus k into 4 by 3 
minus 20 equal to 0. Here we have 2 times 4 4 is 16, 16 4 is 64 upon 3 3 is 9 3 is 27 minus 11 times 16 upon 9 plus 4k by 3 minus 20 equal to 0. What do you have to do? Just follow the rules, solve it, transpose it, you will get the answer, answer of k. Okay. So, this is the value of finding, k. the value of k is easy. Okay. So, if we want to solve this question here, first we have to multiply 2 4 is 8, 2 6 is 12 upon 27 minus 11 6 is 66, 11 minus 11 6 17 upon 9 plus 4k upon 3 minus 20 equal to 0 all right oh i have to erase this too we have to follow the pattern and here we have now if you take the lcm here the lcm will be 27 okay so 128 have minus 9 3 27 here we multiply and divide by 3 so here we will get 3 6 the so when we multiply this uh, uh, 176 by 3 we will get here 528 when we multiply here 9 3 27 in numerator and denominator we will get 36 and here we have uh, if we multiply and divide numerator and denominator by by 27 we will get here 540 all right now we have to solve this 124 20, 128 528 and 540 so here when we solve these 128 and 1 um, and 528 we will get here minus 400 plus 36 minus 540 27 will transpose 0 multiplied by 27 it will become 0 here again okay. minus 400 and minus 540 when we solve this these two we will get here minus 940 plus 36 k equal to 0 when we solve this we will get here k equal to 940 upon 36 further we can simplify it by 2 2 4 is 8 Two seven zero fourteen zero upon eighteen. This is the answer of this is the answer of k. Okay. Further, we can say uh, all solved by two two nine zero eighteen. Here we have two two zero four, two three zero six, and two five zero. We can uh, two thirty five upon nine. Here we have another question. Uh, if x minus 3 and x minus 1 by 3 are factors of the polynomial px square plus 3x plus r, then we have to show that p equal to r. So since we have given that x minus 3 and x minus 1 by 3 both are the factor of the given polynomial, so we can first write here p of x. This is polynomial in x equal to small p x square plus 3x plus small r okay since the, the this is the given polynomial and x minus 3 and x minus 1 by 3 are two factors so first by factor theorem we apply here so first we find first find zeros of x minus 3 and x minus 1 by 3 so zeros of x minus 3 is 3 and zeros 0 of x minus 1 by 3 is 1 by 3 how we know that if we place the value of 3 here at x we'll get answer 0 if we get if we put the value x equal to 1 by 3 we'll get answer 0 so here we can <coughs> the zeros of, of x minus 3 
and so zeros are we can say zeros are 3 and 1 by 3 so by fact since they are the factors of the given polynomial so by factor theorem by factor theorem we can say p of 3 equal to 0 and p of 1 by 3 is also equal to 0 by factor theorem okay now we will solve it further first we solve phi for p of 3 equal to 0 since p of 3 equal to 0 here so at the place of here x we will write what 3 so p of 3 square this is this is small p actually don't confuse yourself here we are writing here p of 3 square plus 3 of at the place of x we are going to write 3 plus r equal to 0 so when we solve this here we will get here uh, 9p plus 9 plus r equal to 0 this is our first equation now to find the second equation will will place p of 1 by 3 equal to 0 because uh, x minus 1 by 3 is also the uh, is one of the factors here so by factor theorem p of 1 by 3 will also be 0 so at the place of here again p of 1 by 3 means we need to place the value of x 1 by 3 here so p of small p of 1 by 3 whole square plus 3 of 1 by 3 plus r equal to 0 and we have now the second equation here we, so we can solve here so it will be p upon 9 plus 3 3 cancel 1 plus r equal to 0 now if we take the LCM let me raise first if you take the LCM here we will get p plus 9 plus 9r whole upon 9 equal to 0 p plus 9 plus 9r equal to 0 times 9 equal to 0 so in this case we have p plus 9r equal to 9 minus 9 this is the second equation we have and the first equation here 9p plus r equal to minus 9 so now we have 9p plus r equal to minus 9 p plus 9r equal to minus 9 so what can we do we can equate here both the equation this is the first equation and second so we can equate because things which are equal to the same things are equal to one another things because this thing is equal to minus 9 and this thing again equal to minus 9 here the the two things are equal to the same things are equal to one another that means equating 1 and 2 9p plus r equal to p plus 9r so here 9p when you transpose 9p minus p so p will transpose here and 9r we call it light terms plus r will be transpose here we will get minus r here over here we have 9p minus p it will be 8p equal to 8r when you solve this 8 will be transposed we will get here p equal to 
एट आर बाय एट एम्प्लाइज पी इक्वल टू आर दिस इज द वे हाउ इज ऑल दिस दीज क्वेश्चन थैंक यू वेरी मच